Now pay attention, W7. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second, always have an escape plan. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it might be. I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy. And I mean, obviously by the title, this card right here, and then what I am wearing, I'm sure you all know what I'm gonna be talking about today. I kind of wanted to do this video with a little bit more footage, um, meaning video footage where I was able to go and take a little bit more in-depth video because I have only been to this place once and I am so happy I, I did because I, I almost scratched the idea of going because I only had 18 hour an 18 hour layover in, in London uh, and there was so much to see. So kind of the backstory of, of what I'm gonna talk about today. It's obviously about the Bond in Motion exhibit in, uh, in London at the London Film Museum. And uh, it all started with uh, me going and tagging along with my father who works for the airlines. And he asked if I wanted to go to London with him for, for a trip. And this was in 2019, well before the pandemic. And um, so I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna have time during my studying to even go and look around, so why not? Um, I went with him and the first thing I wanted to do was go and see Bond in Motion um, because that was a, a place that had not only Bond history, but Bond cars and, and cars and Bond, me being a car guy, it, it's, it's heaven. So I made sure that I was adamant about going to, to that um, place and a lot of people I posted so many amazing pictures of going and, and hearing their stories and saying how close they were to the cars I, I had to go. So getting there, I remember walking down the street and it was packed. It was packed with people going up and down, reminding me of Times Square in, in New York. That's how packed it was. But coming up to the actual uh, building, you saw the banners that said Bond in Motion and 007 and it was decked out really cool. And I walked straight in and there was no line. I was like, oh, that's awesome. People were obviously walking down. They were, they paid already and taken their time. And it was really a really chill atmosphere. I was I was greeted by Mr. Sean Connery. Um, not the actual one, unfortunately. It was uh, a wax figurine, but of course I got excited and I was like fanboying. I was like, oh my God, I gotta take some selfies and some awkward selfies. and. Yeah, but anyways, I, I got to take pictures with Sean Connery, which was super cool. Went up to the front desk where I was gonna pay for the ticket, thinking it's gonna be about 15, 20 pounds, you know. But the guy there, I forget his name, but he was on that freaking super nice, super welcoming, super happy and, and, and enthusiastic. And he asked me, are you a student? I said, yeah, I am. He said, all right, awesome. It's probably nine pounds. And I'm like, nine pounds? Uh, you know, I don't go anywhere here. Right? It's like, you're still a student, my friend. Keep up the hard work. And he let me in for nine pounds, which was really awesome. So I, I remember walking down the steps and I see, well, I mean, the first thing I, I look at is something hanging from the ceiling and it's little Nelly, the actual little Nelly. And I'm like, dude, uh, this, is, this is great. I literally could almost touch the actual little Nelly. I got to the bottom step and right in front of me was the DB10 from Spectre. And I was like, wow, it's it's so much bigger in person. And it's really cool because it's not an actual like production Aston Martin, it was made directly for a Spectre. And um, again, there was like, I, I don't know if there was a certain path or a certain way where you can see the movies and the, the vehicles and movie order rather, but I was in awe and like, yeah, I was, my mouth was open for 95% of the time. My eyes were moving at like the speed of sound. It, I was overwhelmed with the amount of things that were there. The, it was like stepping into a Bond movie. It was literally stepping into a Bond movie. The last time I saw most of these cars was on, on the screen when I was watching the films. And now they're like inches in front of me, which is, crazy so 
I was all over the place. I mean, when you get there or when you were in there, I mean, it was, you know, obviously it was set up nicely where it was a big area. You could wander around. They had all these different pieces from Bond movie history on the wall. Um, they had the actual suits from uh, and costumes from different Bond characters and Bond himself. They had uh, something that was really, really cool, which was a bunch of Bond props, like the prop PPK, uh, some paper things like uh, identification cards, passports from, I think it's from Timothy Dalton, uh, Daniel Craig, and then there's one for Pierce, I believe. And it was, it was so cool because this was stuff, again, from the films. This is history. So I make my way in whatever way I decided to go again, I was moving all over the place and there was all these different vehicles, which I, I'm gonna be posting um, or putting up pictures as I, as I speak so you guys can see from my experience. And it was, oh my goodness, everyone there at the museum, all of the, the, st the staff was incredibly, incredibly welcoming. They understood that we were Bond fans and, and they, had so much information, so many fun facts, and they were willing to just sit and talk with you, which I'm sure they've done millions of times with everyone that has come through, but each each person was warm and welcoming, which I will never forget that. It was such an overall amazing experience. Just, to, just seeing the cars alone was a great experience, but when you have the staff that you can tell that is really enthusiastic about what they're doing, what they're presenting, it makes the, the everything else so much more enjoyable. Um, and yes, yes, I did take the photo op, which is right here. I had to, because this was a time now, even more so as I look back, as, I mean, I don't think I'll ever have, have this opportunity again, because they are shutting it down and the uh, exhibit is now over as we speak. They're actually moving the cars, uh, to other locations or just taking them out of the museum. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to create this video. Uh, the news was literally broken um, maybe a couple days ago and they, the Bond in Motion Instagram made an official statement about, you know, thank you for the year, amazing years that we've had and all this all this st great stuff about, you know, the experiences. And Anyways, back to the photo opt. Here it is, here's mine. Bond in motion, a little dusty there, but that's because it's out on display all the time. I want to make sure it's out there. The tuxedo was one of the ones, I don't know if, if um, I know at least for the in the States, when you take your senior portraits for high school when you're about to graduate, they they have these fake uh, Velcro fastened tuxedos that you, literally you put on like a t-shirt and they strap it on you and you, you have a fake tuxedo on. That's literally what they use, which was kind of funny. Only nine pounds for this guy. And I mean, that's really cool. I, like having something like that is is definitely, I didn't I didn't care how much it was gonna be. When I saw that the photo opportunities, it was there. I was like, I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't know what kind of pose I was doing. I thought I was gonna be able to do the gun barrel turn and, and shoot, but it, it was, it felt like I was doing the gun barrel. That's for sure. But again, it was, it was such a great, great moment when I had my picture. It truly felt like Bond that day. Continuing on, I mean, they had posters and you guys know how much I love posters. They had giant posters. They have one giant one of Sean Connery for a Thunderball and then like a huge uh, Roger Moore Spy Who Loved Me poster. It was super cool and the stand by them was really intimidating because again, these were huge. These were like maybe 12 feet, 12, 12 foot tall posters. It was really cool to see that bit of history, you know, and whether those were the original posters or just, you know, reprints, it was still really cool to see. And then I remember by the poster area, actually, they had a huge case of nothing but James Bond merchandise. So they had all these different toys, books, uh, calendars, puzzles, all these things from over the years of when they released, like all the way back from, 1962 to now like all these things that were released and they had them on display which was super cool to see uh, that piece of history they also had again prop more props they had i think um the metal arm from live and let die the tarot cards from live and let die and oh they had 
all of the props used in Dia de los Muertos, the, the scene in Mexico City for Spectre, which is super cool, all the way up from the, the women's umbrellas to some of their masks and some of the traditional clothing and Daniel Craig's skeleton mask, which was super cool to see in person. The, the bikes were even there, all the bikes of Bond, which shout out to that new Instagram account, which is super cool. All the bikes that were there, all were from, I think, GoldenEye to Spectre, or I'm sorry, Skyfall, they were there because some of them were mounted up in the air as if, you know, Bond was driving up on the Grand Bazaar and it was, Cool because they also had video uh, TV screens next to all of the vehicles or most of them from the scenes where the vehicles were used so they, they had references there so those who may not be familiar with the Vaughn movies they could see them actually used in the movies which I think from uh, just a tourist standpoint which is really cool I mean you get to actually see it on screen and in person that's that's kind of crazy to know it was in the movie but kind of rounding out the the experience here i remember seeing the dbs the from quantum it was straight from the production it looked like because it had it was messed up with the door missing and scrape marks and all of that bullet holes that was really cool to see uh, i don't know if it was a stunt car or if it was the one they used for filming with craig in it but they also had i think seats taken out they talked about how the gadgetry works there's original concepts all these really cool facts that um you wouldn't know unless you went to bond in motion and that was really interesting to to read about and, and i swear you could have been there for weeks with the amount of information that they had finally the holy grail of all bond cars yes the aston martin db5 was there and i went crazy with pictures <laughs> I stood by it, I was literally feet away. There's no other place you can really be, well, unless you're in New York City in Spyscape, you, you can get close to the DB5 that was um, there in, in Goldeneye. But this experience next to this DB5, the weather, I don't know what it was, maybe it was the lighting, the way that they projected the, the famous Bond and Q scene from Goldfinger. It was overwhelming to be in the presence of such an iconic, it's the famous, most famous car of all time. And I was there and it was a true honor to be standing right in front of it. But that kind of ended the whole, you know, uh, I guess walk around experience um, exhibit part. You would go upstairs after that and it would lead you to the gift shop, which spent way too much money there. But you know, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> I obviously got this guy. Um, I think I got a few more posters and then I got the DB5 uh, keychain there. They had so much, so many things. If I could, I would have bought the whole store, but you know, I, I couldn't because you know, I had to eat that day. So why did I decide to do this video? Because I want something to remember Pond in Motion by. I want something to kind of be in my, I guess, visual, time capsule uh, and that's what I'm using YouTube and Instagram for and to, to remember the experiences I have because they're not always going to be around like this is a prime example Bond in Motion is now done they are closing and it's really really sad but to be a part of literal movie history and being close that like within inches of the 007 franchise was a complete honor and I just want to Give a shout out to all of the staff, whether I've met you or I haven't over there at Bond in Motion at the London Film Museum. Thank you so much for what you guys did for over the years and making everyone's experience uh, a very, very, for most people um, like myself who aren't super close, maybe even a once in a lifetime experience um, memorable. That's exactly what it was. If I could break it, break down the whole experience in one word, it's that it was memorable. And it's a memory that I will cherish for years and I'll never forget. So that being said, that is why I created this video. Something to remember Bond in Motion in because it's gonna be truly missed. I appreciate everyone joining me on this little uh, talk, I guess you could say. It's a little bit different than my normal formatted videos. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit personal because this, this is uh, a very, Kind of 
bittersweet topic we're talking about, but something, again, that will never be forgotten. It's my experience at the Bond in Motion. So thank you for hanging out this long if you have. And let me know what your experience was in the, in the comments below. I'm going to be posting pictures of uh, better definition pictures of my experience at uh, Bond in Motion on my Instagram. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. And also, too, wanted to shout out... Uh, James Bond North America, I believe, forgive me if I butchered that, but they have an amazing video of a virtual walkthrough that they've done. I'm gonna link that in the description below. So for those who have not had the opportunity to go check out Bond in Motion in person, um, you can check that out via their YouTube video. And that, there's tons, tons of videos out there about Bond in Motion that you can go check out. But um, that one and a few others are some of my most favorites. So. With that being said, everybody, I hope everyone has a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it may be. I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.